Hello everyone. Welcome back to episode 8 of Sunset Mirage, my vanilla city skylines build. First of all, I just want to thank everybody who's tuning into the channel, everybody who is subscribing. I really truly appreciate it. I'm so glad that there's even just one person enjoying the videos. So just know I am super happy to have you here and I hope you continue to uh, enjoy the city grow. So speaking of growing, today we are finally finally going to get into the university build. I've been sort of putting it off a little bit just because there were some other issues that needed resolved in the city, but also because I really just didn't know exactly how I wanted to do it, but I'm, I, I've got a good idea of what I want to do. So without further ado, we're going to get straight into it today and we're going to finally come back to this area here that I have set up for our university. So. First things first is get rid of this road here, and I want to go into the education section here, and I want to go to our trade school, and I do, do I have to paint out the area first? It looks like I do. I thought maybe if I placed the building, then the area would start to paint itself, but that's fine. Okay, so we want to paint our campus area, and I know I want it to be this entire section here. Okay, so as I was saying, up here will be sort of admin stuff. So first, I want to throw in the administration building. Again, this doesn't quite centralize as much as I would want it to, but here, move it would come in handy, but that's fine. It works well enough for me. I think that's fine. Okay, so we have our admin building, and then what I want to do is take our trade school path. I can just go in here. Take our trade school path. I don't want the road guidelines. I want the grid, yes. So I want it to come straight down the hill. Just like that. Perfect. I'll worry about water and all that stuff once I get some of these initial frames drawn out. So I'm going to come down here. Now I know I want to have some dorms in this section here. So I'm going to see how far I can get in without it getting all jank with the terrain. So, oh, and I want my road guidelines back on. I want to be able to see. So, okay, so how about here? Can that, does that work? Okay. And then let's see how far I can get it back. No, no, see, that's not going to work. Okay. How about from here? Perfect. So that's as far back as I can get it. Take all that away. And then I want to draw it down just a little ways and see how far I need. And then grab our dorms. So I want these to go... See, I had this problem before. And I don't know what the issue was. It cannot be placed on this road. It can be placed there. Okay, so I think what the problem is was that when I placed this building, it creates its own university, like, campus area. And so I had, like, two separate university, like, campus areas. So I don't really know why it makes you draw out a campus area first, and then when you place the building, it creates another one of its own. That just doesn't really make any sense to me. Um, okay. But moving on, we'll go ahead and place the dorms like I wanted to. And I'll throw two here, back to back. Do I want to get, well, here, why don't I do another one in between, another path in between. I can do that here, draw these down a little bit further. I mean, obviously this is severely overkill for what we have at the moment uh, to be putting this many dorms in, but eventually they will fill up. That's the goal anyway, right? So close those off again, and I'll just hook them in here really fast. This is all going to change in some ways as we go along. I'll throw paths through here as well. So I'm not worried about this looking exactly perfect at the moment. It is going to change. And then I will start putting in the water pipes. Okay, so there's everybody watered and powered up. It's a, just a quick little temporary power connection for now. It'll eventually jump through with the buildings. Are we having some problems here? What's going on? Did I not do water up there? I didn't. Well, that's on me. Okay. 
Fix that up. And I think it does have power. Yeah, it should have power. Okay, and before I get too carried away with things, I do want to bring this down here. Because I want to hook this over into this residential area. So, I want this to go... Well, not that far up. Okay, go back to all of the lowest, lowest. Okay. And I just want it to stay at the same level. Same height. Perfect. Oh, well, it needs to be... Does it need to be higher up? It does need to be a little bit higher up. Okay, so... We'll just amend that. I mean, they're getting quite a workout on that one, but that's fine. And I want to get rid of that guy. Don't need that. And I definitely don't want this guy growing there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, let's see, actually. Let's grab my three-way, one-way here. And get rid of the zoning. Because I definitely don't want houses on that side. And let's just put these guys back in. Sorry, guys. I did not mean to delete that many people's homes. Okay. And that guy can stay there. That way there's a nice connection from this residential area into here without having to cross over this, uh, my couplet here. So, okay. Now that that's sorted out, let's go back and check out what we need exactly anyway. First of all, campus area info. Yeah, we're not anywhere near any of this stuff yet. But we need campus attractiveness 200 and students 500. And I know that we definitely have the capacity or like the need for that many students. Yeah, eligible 4,136. 4, so, we definitely have the students. Let's go into our buildings and see what else we need. So we have the trade school groundskeeping. Which I do want to put kind of right along the back of the maintenance, or I mean the uh, administration building. So, let's take out one of these. I'll just draw it out by 10 for now, and we'll amend things as we go. And I kind of want to just have it sit against the back there. Okay. Trade school, trade school, study hall, I think might do well right outside the dorms. Or I could have, start stuff on this side, and start having like kind of the cafeteria, the gym, those sorts of buildings in here. Um, yeah, actually, I think that is exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to get rid of some of that stuff there. And I'm going to try to mirror this stuff on the other side. Where's my... There I am. Okay. So this was a distance of 360, right? Okay. And between here and here is 140. So we'll just draw this out. And from here here let's click that in from here to here is also 360 okay so we've got three six no 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 definitely not that okay try that again three 60 perfect and we'll do 360 okay i guess we can probably have them connect that way and then I want the trade school study hall. So I would like it to face that direction, yeah. Line it up right along there. Now do I want it facing... Now I don't want... Hmm, is this the front or the back? This looks like a front to me. But, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I do want this one to go the other way. So let's grab our paths again. And we'll go down to here. Okay. And maybe I'll do something. We can figure all this out as we go. But let's just flip this around. How do you mean... Oh, it doesn't fit their way because... Yeah, it doesn't go that way. I don't know why the entry point is on the side. Like... Those two things clearly look like an entrance, but instead this is where they go in, I guess. Whatever. Doesn't really matter that much, I guess. Let's take a look at a different, different angle here. Can I get a better angle on that? No, because it's facing... Yeah, okay. That's fine. I just wanted to see it in a better light, but that's okay. Um, that's a little bit janky there. Why is that? I think it's because of these ones here. 
Okay, that's better at least. That I will take. Smooth this out on here. And this way. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's... I'll take that. That's a lot better. Okay, so we have the trade school library. What other buildings do we have here? We have... So we've got one of the... Oh, it's trade school study hall. Sorry. And then we've got the trade school groundskeeping. And we have... We need a book club. Well, this looks like it might fit right in here. Kind of kind of by... Maybe do I want it there? And we can get rid of these guys. And close this guy in here like this. My world guidelines back on. Cool. And then maybe I'll do the same thing on that side. And maybe I, maybe I can do like a little park, cafe kind of thing going on in this empty square to go sort of with the bookshop. Or the book club. Okay, that is all the other buildings. And then we have the police academy, which we can do. So let's see where we're at here. Campus info. Okay, so we have the campus attractiveness value. We have the capacity for the students. We need, for, oh, we need 500. We have 411. We need academic works, which I did forget about. So I want to go in here and I want to just grant the first one because we can. And I want to bump the academic staff all the way up to the highest amount that we can pay for uh, because we can. And I'm going to do these policies as well. Because I have the money for it, so we, we might as well go for it and try to get as many students in here as possible so that we can level this up. As it is, I imagine that in this episode, we are probably only going to get to, like, a level three. Uh, just because I don't know that I have enough, like, sort of office demand and, like, demand for higher education sims as I even have, like, available of those sims. So, like, I don't know that I have enough jobs for that many that many college graduates. So I doubt it'll get to that level, but we can revisit it in the future as well as the city grows. Um, because I think I will also probably need residential expansion before I'm able to reach that level five. Um, so probably just levels one through three in this, in this episode today. And then I want to go ahead and throw on the education boost policy as well, because I want everybody to be flocking to the school. So we're already almost at the level, the student level now, just by adding all those policies and such. We're at 478 students out of 500. We have one academic work, so that's all set. And I think that my I have the 65% chance of getting another one. So hopefully. And we have 26 weeks left to go in that. So I'm going to go ahead and speed through that. And I'll see you when we reach level two. Okay, so here we are, back with, we are now recognized. We did get our two academic works. We have 1,484 students. Campus attractiveness is, you know, just above the level at 225. Okay, so we have increased tuition fee and an exchange student bonus of 4% and new buildings. So we have our trade school cafeteria. We have our trade school fountain, trade school gymnasium, and the outdoor study. So, let's look at our uh, academic works. Ultra Moist Apparel. Everybody's favorite word. Combining old-fashioned and modern styles, the Ultra Moist Apparel is aiming to becoming the market leader in swimwear. So, that was our first one. And then, is that all it says? That's the research grant-funded academic work. Oh, and then automated visitor counter. So, a must-have must counter for destinations to keep track of popularity in visitors. Okay. And then the toga party. The groundskeeping staff worked long hours to clean up after a toga party. Some eggs were thrown and bottles broken during the celebrations. Okay. So there we go. We've got our new buildings. And in the meantime, I threw in a little bit of parking. You know, there's definitely lots of people commuting is the idea that I had in mind coming to visit. Also, I will eventually have a... Um, a sports arena back here somewhere for the school, so lots of people will be coming and parking for that. And I threw in an intercity bus station, which so far has just... Oh, look, it's finally settled down. There was like a lot more people in here, but still, it's a good deal. And I have a line going from here just back into our transit hub over here. Which reminds me, I keep beginning to say this at the beginning before I lose about, you know, 70% of you... But if you have name suggestions for stuff, anything in the city, whoever comments first, basically, at this point, is going to get it. I'm not getting lots of comments, so 
there's no need to so if you want it it's yours all you got to do is drop a comment below name anything in the city the only thing that i've named myself is the misty palms oasis little nature reserve park over here which yes doesn't have any water but that's kind of the point so uh because it is a reference to something and if you know the reference please feel free to let me know in the comments below where it's from and then i named this over here kosher farms uh because it's a pickle and i'm a pickle so that's it so if you want to name anything else in the city just drop your comments, uh, drop your suggestions in the comments below, and the first one to leave a comment and, and name something gets it. That's how we're going to do it for now. Okay, so back on point, we've got our new buildings to check out. So, and I think, do I have the sports already? I do, right? Yeah, so I've got two. I've got basketball and aquatics. I've never used, I've always used the aquatics because it's the first one you, that you get. Um, I've never used the basketball, and I think I've used the football one at some point a long long time ago it's been a while since i've made a proper university build so okay into our buildings oh and i didn't even place the police academy yet either but i think i know where i want to put those so i'm going to leave it for a minute we have our trade school outdoor study which i think i kind of want to put right in the center or maybe i want to do it over here where the dorms are yes i think i do well, let's see. What do we have? What did we just put? We put the study hall. We don't need a study hall and an outdoor study next to each other. So I'm definitely going to go with over here. Somewhere for the people at the dorms to go and do all their studying outside uh, in the lovely rain. You know, we're getting an awful lot of rain for a deserty map here, but I digress. Okay, so back in here, we've got the trade school gymnasium, which I would like to put over here but do i want it on the corner like that looks like it has a corner asset like a corner yeah okay i can get behind that and then we have the trade school cafeteria which i would like to put maybe it can fit in here yes beautiful oh man don't you just love it when things just fit right into place and you don't have to wiggle them around forever god yeah i just love that okay so that works perfectly if i can get a path in behind here that would actually even be better let's see can i fit a path in behind no it flips into the buildings that's a shame because i would but that's actually kind of cool you can walk up you know the key here and see the cafeteria i think i like that okay and then what else do we have that's new? We have the trade school fountain, which I would like to put somewhere kind of back here where like the visitors come in and stuff. Maybe I'll throw it. Hmm. How many spaces is it? Five, six. Maybe I'll do it kind of right next to this little area, make a little plaza place out of a little plaza spot out of the parking and the bus station so yeah and then we can go through and grab our trade school pass i'm just gonna stick to them in this area because they match um what do i need to turn off here everything road length there we go okay and i'll throw one on this side as well just just to keep it going i guess okay so there's that I kind of like that back there. And I'll probably do some, like, park stuff in between here. Little, maybe like a little cafe. Like one of these little park cafe ones from our city parks. Like, where are we? We have... Oh, a park restroom actually wouldn't be a bad idea. Kind of right next to the parking lot and the inner city bus station. Not a bad idea. And a park cafe. Maybe kind of right across here. Well, maybe I'll want the path to go through first. Let's go with right here. And we'll go back into our paths and connect these up to here. Eh, it doesn't match up, but that's fine. Yeah, and I can make a cute little park space up here out of that. Cemetery needed. Oh, yeah, that's probably accurate. Um, these are probably about to be full. Yeah, 2,978, 2,725. But okay, that's fine. We will obviously add them. Oh, goodness. 
There's lots of people dying over here. Hmm. They'll, they'll get picked up. I'm not going to stress about it right now. Let's get back to the task at hand. We need to get the rest of these buildings in. Okay, so that is the actually all of the new buildings. So let's see what that does. I know, I'm pretty sure it doesn't get us to our level. No. 405 out of 450. So I'm thinking what I would like to do is have the larger buildings kind of down this way as like like kind of fronting this street here i'll just uh i'll take it up to Does that look weird a little bit but maybe i'll just maybe i'll just take it all the way down and have it a nice little slope downwards to get into there i'll see how that goes and then we'll do the same thing on this side i guess and we'll just link it right up there okay and i'll refine all of it you know at the end once I get like a final configuration going but let's see how this looks just facing right on right out onto that couplet so yeah this this building is just super nice um yeah I think that's perfect you drive by it like coming in and out of the city I think that's lovely and what does it do exactly so it trains cadets that increases police departments and overall efficiency patrol car count and jail capacity so it is providing some nice benefits to the city in increasing that, uh, which we were running into some issues over there. People were burglaring at the farm, at Kosher Farms the other day. So, glad to see that that's going to be cleared up, or at least, you know, helped along. Um, speaking of, like, what are we at anyway? Yeah, see, now we have a lot more. We've got jail capacity of 120. I think it was at, like, 50 the last time I looked. So, okay. And what do we have for that now so we still have only 430 out of 450 so we do need to place something else let's see oh well maybe i can start does this provide that stuff um pollution noise pollution entertainment well let me just place it and see does it increase that value must, oh it must be placed roadside as well okay so forget that then for now but we will have that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will have that go around the block, the back down here. So let's just close this guy off. Put all our snappings back on. There we go. And cool. Okay. And then maybe we can just grab these roads really quick and connect them up. Okay. I'm kind of liking how that's worked out was not not even part of my plans, but it looks like it's it's doing us a job here. Okay, and then I want to upgrade this and make it a little bit fancy. Yeah. Cool. Get some trees in there. Maybe a little better tree, too, as well. Let's see. Um. Yeah, content creator pack trees. Let's do what about these. These never look super great on my computer. I don't think I have quite the specs necessary <laughs> to make this game look as best as possible. But uh, when I get close, I can see them. From far away, they look dead. But that's okay. Um, So we need a couple more buildings down here. Do dorms increase attractiveness? They do. So maybe I can try to, like, mirror... Maybe I can do, like, a, another one of these on this side. I don't know. Let's see. Um, oh, <laughs> I like how there's just this bridge in the middle here. Uh, I was working with some stuff while we were, while I was uh, getting to level two and it, it didn't go well. So I just put a regular ass bridge in here. Uh, that does not look very nice and it goes right through my lovely nature reserve, but I did need some connectivity from this side to this side. So it is what it is. Um, you know what? I think... I'm just going to go and throw down a cemetery here just for now. Because things are getting out of hand over there. Okay. Okay, so... Because these other... I just don't want to take up a lot of space for all these other buildings. Like, the School of Engineering... Tour, well, this doesn't even... I don't even get this unlocked until level 5 anyway. So, the likelihood of me needing that anytime soon is pretty slim. So let's just go ahead and grab this guy. So we want, it was three, no, 480. So let's do that again. 
for 80. Nope, that's 60. Damn it. Four eighty. Three sixty. Boom. Well, you know what? Well, yeah, okay. Okay, so let's put in one here and one here. Then I'm going to go through with my path again and do another one right behind it and then one here and one here. And our path's through the middle. Okay. We can close this off and do, yeah, like maybe some park space and things like that through here. Maybe some of the other smaller buildings will fit in here. I don't know. We'll have to see what goes on here. I might I might do some rearranging. We'll see. But now I kind of like how I have like a... What would this be? This would be west and east and this is north and south, right? That makes sense because... Okay. But yeah, so I like that I have kind of like a north and a south campus now. Or at least like a dorm room area. So that's kind of cool. And that should have definitely bumped me up to the next level. And I think I have students as well. Okay. So we'll go into academic works and we'll grant another one because I still have tons of money. We're making money again still even. Not as much as we were. And I will drop this down eventually once we get to the levels that we want um, because I, I don't need them to be... I don't need to be spending that much on education right now. Not for trade school. Um, maybe maybe in the future. But we'll, for now, no, no. Just, just to get us to the next levels that we need. Okay. So I've got a long way to go though. Um, but we have all of our levels met. So... I'll see you when we get to level three or whatever it is, renowned or something like that. Okay, whatever the case, whatever it's called, we'll be back when we get there. Okay, so we've got our academic year report for this year and we are now renowned. So we've had three more academic works this year. We lost a couple students, but not enough to drop us like below the level that we needed to progress. So tuition fees are now 10 like dollars or whatever a student and exchange student bonus eight percent we now have the academic statue the it club library the school of tourism and travel and the commencement office so research grant funded academic work this innovative oh so product change product chains this innovative alternative to regular rope speeds up the tying process and secures product 50 percent more tightly and then two academic works were created colossal orderly we'll shout there a new type of cleaning method that instantly spread like wildfire amongst lazy campus students neat and sure to spark joy and then trippy coin cryptocurrency that will try to solve all the issues with uh, other cryptocurrencies of course and then two toga parties this time so um this year's toga party almost broke the world record of largest toga party with the highest number of participants in the history of the campus. Well, it's only been around for two years, so that's not really saying much, is it? The toga party aftermath included students missing classes in the morning, people sleeping on the campus lawn, and few proactive freshmen decorating the statues uh, found on campus grounds. Okay, so we are at level three. So let's go ahead and get placing our new buildings and check out where we want, how we want things to look now. Okay. So, into here, trade school, we have the, um, what, start with our trade school, wait, is, the fountain is what we have back here, right? Let's, I don't want this, I don't want that. I just want to click, I don't want the roads. Can I just, can I just click? There we go, trade school fountain. Wow, I don't know why that was so hard for me to figure out. Okay. So we do have the trade school fountain already. And this is a new building, the trade school library, which I want to place in here with all of our other like main academic buildings. Can I, nah, I can't put it on that side. I can fit it here though in between. So we'll go with that. Let's check it out. Cool. Okay. Can I fit a path in there? Cause that would be marvelous. And with my luck, the answer is going to be no, but we're going to try it anyway. Ah, oh, yes. Yes. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay. So, we've got that. We've got the library, and we have the IT club. 
It's a little guy. This could probably fit in the middle here. I like right along with the book club. Let's why why don't we throw it opposite the book club or the book store? No, it's a book club, right? Book club. Yeah. Okay. So there we go. Nice. Okay. So that's facing. Do I want to switch this around so it faces this way? I think I do. I think I like that better. And this is also facing this direction. Nope, I want it here. Yeah, I just want to make sure I'm in the space. Okay, yeah, so I want them both facing this way. That's cool. Okay, and maybe I can get the fountains to lie on either side. Let's see. We have the commencement office, which I, I would like to have up here. Um, for now, I, I'm just going to toss it like... Mm, what to do, what to do. Um, I think I do want that up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in there. Uh, for now, it's just gonna I'm just gonna toss it down like that. Um, Cause I think I do want the. I mean, I would love if I could get the basketball court up on this side. That would be perfect, actually. Maybe I can. Let's. I know that's gonna be janky in the back, but for now, just let me let me just check some stuff out here. Okay, this is really big. But I can fit it here if I just draw out a road, right? So let's check out this. Draw that here. And come back into here. Grab that big old boy. Boom. Yes. Check that out. That is cool. That is cool. I do like it. Okay. Yeah, I've never actually placed this building, so I'm liking it. I'm liking it. So I actually did... Gosh, I can't remember if I said this. Sorry if I'm repeating myself. I did actually go ahead and name the college to Red Cedar College. And I'm also going to name the basketball arena to the Breslin Center. Whoops, wow. If I could, if I could spell. Okay, the Breslin Center. Uh, both as homages to the university that I attended school at. So... Um, but, you know, for anything else, feel free to drop in name suggestions. So I'm going to throw, uh, grab some water here. Um, okay. So I don't really want that right there, but maybe, maybe I can, it's not in the campus area. Um, maybe I can extend my campus area a touch just to cover that guy up. Okay. And plop him over just a little bit further. Kind of like centralized with this guy. Okay, there. Should do it. Nope, that's not quite right, is it? No. A little bit further over. It's there. No, I want it. Now, is that too far on that side? It is. So I just want it right in the middle. Okay. Okay. No. No, no, no. Is it, like, longer on one side? What the... What, what the... What the what? It looks like it should line up. But let's just get rid of the building and try it again. Because I can't see, like, where the end is. Okay. Try this again. The commencement office. It looks like it should line up just right in the middle there. And, yeah, I don't know. Somehow when I look at it from here, it just doesn't look quite right. Is it because there's no trees on that side? That's why it looks weird. Is that supposed to be how it is? That there's just no trees on the other side. Seems very strange, but I can throw my own trees in there, I guess. Because I don't, I don't like that. Mm. Yeah, I know there's a mod for that as well. Bob, Mr. Mister Robert. But uh, I don't have that, so... Oh well, get rid of this. I don't, I don't like this little one. No. Just, I don't care that you're complaining because I don't even... Oh, that's ugly. I don't want that either. Um, as I've had to delete some abandoned buildings, some really ugly shit has come in. So. Yeah, like that? That I can keep. That I can keep. Just, just a little housekeeping here real quick. Okay. Th that, that'll do. I don't want to get... I don't want to get distracted again. Okay. Goodness. Sometimes doing things uh, it is difficult for me. Keeping, keeping the focus on one thing at a time. Um, okay. So yes, back to our buildings, and then we have the trade school academic statue. 
And I, I would like to see if I can just have these repeated on either side and make a nice little plaza out of here. Is that too much? No, I think that's like, I think that's perfect. Just two of them in here. Gets the job done. I don't know why I'm in here. Uh, gets the job done. I think that's, I think that's nice. Okay, and I think that is all of the new buildings, right? That's all of the new buildings. Not a whole lot in that level, uh, but we do get also the School of Tourism Travel. Which is another pretty big building. Um, and I would like to think... I think I should be able to put it over here. Where's the entry point for this one? Aha. There it is. So, I think... I think I can fit it in here. Let's just see how it looks really fast. Okay. Wow, that is a big, beautiful building. I do like it. I like it a lot. Cool. Okay, so then I want to go ahead and see about throwing in some paths. Just to connect these two things up. Can I? It's not going to go. Oh, it is going to go right behind there. Perfect. And then the same thing I want. Let's see about that. that one's not going to do it there. But I can do it here. And up here. Cool. Maybe throw that there. Close that off there. And close this off here. Leave this open for like another bigger building, perhaps. I don't. I. I don't think the last building fits in that space. Uh, I think it's pretty big. Um, but again, I, I am not getting anywhere near that that big right now, so it's not going to be an issue. That's the very last building to unlock. Okay. But so that is all of the new buildings that I have, and we have. Okay, so we've got the campus attractiveness by over a hundred. We've got that covered. The student capacity has now lessened. We're at 1,038, 39 out of 1,200. So we don't have a whole lot more to go. We have, obviously, I'm pretty sure we definitely have the capacity. Yeah, we've got capacity for 5,500. We have five out of the eight academic works. Can we throw in more policies that might get people? These are just for visiting the sports. Like, you know, to come and do sports. We don't... That's not going to help us get students. Um, okay, varsity team. Team identity and team color. These, I could, I could do, keep with the homage to my university and name them after that. Uh, but I think I will leave this up to the comments to decide what we want our team name to be and what we want the team color to be. Um, also because if I gave, if I named it after my alma mater, uh, it would quickly give away where it is from, and I'm hoping that people can guess where it is in the comments below. So, based on the Breslin Center and based on Red Cedar College, can you figure out which university I went to? Um, and yes, naming them, naming the sports team after them would probably give it away, especially if you are into basketball. For sure, it'll give it away. College basketball, anyway. Direction that, and that's what I'm saying. Like, why I didn't think we would get all the way up to level five today, because this this usually happens about this time. Um, if anybody can actually explain that to me, that would be super helpful. I'm not sure I understand exactly why the students tend to drop off around this point. I I, I think it's just because I don't really have the need for that many highly educated workers, and people have already started to graduate. I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay. So I don't. I don't know. I think there might be a way to see how many, how much demand there is for highly educated people because now we have obviously mostly highly educated. We're at almost fifty percent highly educated, but I don't think we have that much. Uh, like we don't have a whole lot of office. We have a little bit of office down in this area, here, and that's it. And some obviously some higher level commercial. Um. That, that does require highly educated workers, but we're all just too smart in this damn city. They don't need that many highly educated people, which is fine. Um, that will correct itself as we go along. So what I will do now is I'm going to turn off the education boost policy. Um, because we don't, we don't, I know that that's going to make people drop even less. But when we build up the area and we put in more office stuff, I will do an IT cluster eventually. That demand will increase and people will need like more highly educated workers. So I'm not I'm not worried about that. But as I said, I knew we were probably only going to get to level three because because of those issues until we build more office zones and things like that, which 
seems to be maybe the next step will be building some sort of office park somewhere. Um, if you have any other suggestions for builds that we could do next, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. So I'm going to go ahead and beautify this area, detail it all up, and I'll check back with you when I'm finished. So I didn't do a whole lot today, um, and, and there is a reason for that. 
I want to leave space for these other buildings to come in and like other, you know, I, I don't want to fill up all the space with decoration and then just have to go through and destroy all that work. So I am leaving it a little bit bare at the moment on purpose. Um, I just did go through and like throw some trees down. I tried to blend this in a little bit and I kept it pretty simple. Just put a little kiosk in there. I made this cute little plaza area here with some little food stalls, a little rock garden behind. And then, you know, I lined, I lined the key here in this, this entry walkway essentially with some trees and some little bushes, colorful bushes. Um, I just put some trees in between the dorms on either side and I decorated up a little bit of here. This is just a, uh, I know it's like, what's the point of having a basketball court if you've got, you know, the real one right here. Um, I kind of like, you know, I don't know. I just thought it'd be fun. Like people, kids can play outside and, um, you know, before the game starts and things like that. I don't know. That That's kind of where my thought was with that. And I threw down, you know, a ton more parking because this is America in this game, supposedly for, for my city anyway. Um, I, I am, I'm having some issues here with the bus. So if we look at the lines overview for this bus, we have our intercity tran transity hub, intercity transity hub. You know what? I'm going to leave it like that. Cause that's fun. Uh, <laughs> uh, what a silly little typo. Um, I can't choose any of the other buses and I can't do that for any of the lines and I used to be able to that that was an option before so if anybody knows why that might be please please feel free to let me know in the comments because I am really stumped on that one but other than that I went around and just like fussed around with some of my hotels around the city we've reached level two for the hotels so I have a couple more now which is nice. If you want to name the hotel chain, also feel free to do that. Leave a suggestion in the comments for names for that. But yeah, pretty pretty simple, short little detailing build here. Uh, so, with that though, I bid you adieu. I will leave you with uh, a few choice little cinematic shots to part ways with. Uh, but other than that, I really hope you've enjoyed the build today. If you have suggestions for other things that I can do in this city, please feel free to share them in the comments below. And if you're liking it so far, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe below. That would really, really help out the channel. I really appreciate all the likes, all the comments, any views at all is just hugely appreciated by me. So, and that is all. I'll leave you with some nice views on your way out. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you enjoy the rest of your week, weekend, whatever it is, whenever you're watching this video, I hope you have a nice day. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Thank you.